is Billy Idol. Got to go. Wow. So we're back in the morrow with Lucy Siegel and Jenny Agata. Oh, please, yes. Uh, good luck, Lionesses. News next. Good evening. BBC News at five o'clock. This is Adam Porter. Boris Johnson is fighting to stay in Downing Street after a series of ministerial resignations. A group of cabinet ministers, including the chief whip, is about to tell him to quit. And 39 people have been arrested and boats seized in coordinated raids across Europe, tackling people smuggling in the Channel. The BBC understands a group of cabinet ministers are going to tell Boris Johnson he has to resign. Michael Gove, the housing secretary, has already told him to go. But the Prime Minister has insisted he's not quitting, despite a stream of resignations throughout the day. A dozen ministers and a series of ministerial aides have stood down, saying they'd lost confidence in his leadership. In the Commons, Sajid Javid, who resigned as Health Secretary yesterday, said treading the tightrope between loyalty and integrity had become impossible. It's not fair on ministerial colleagues to go out every morning defending lines that don't stand up and don't hold up. It's not fair on my parliamentary colleagues who bear the brunt of constituents' dismay in their inboxes and on their doorsteps in recent elections. And it's not fair on Conservative members and voters who rightly expect better standards from the party they supported. But this afternoon, Boris Johnson appearing before a parliamentary committee was defiant. I think that the country is going through tough times, and I look at the uh, the issues that this country faces. Uh, I look at the, the the pressures that people are are under, and the need for government to focus on their on on their priorities, uh, which is what we are doing. I look at the biggest war in Europe for for eighty years, and. Uh, I cannot for the life of me see how it is responsible just to, to walk away from that. MPs are angry about Mr Johnson's handling of sexual misconduct claims against the former Deputy Chief Whip Chris Pincher and what he said about what he knew. Our political correspondent Nick Erdley says it's a perilous moment for the Prime Minister. And it's just going from worse to worse to even worse for Boris Johnson. This morning we had that steady stream of resignations, ministers and their aides deciding that enough was enough. Then we had three MPs stand up and tell Boris Johnson to his face at Prime Minister's questions that enough was enough. And then the former Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, using those exact words during that excruciating statement on why he'd decided to resign. A tax expert who lost out on a job after claiming people cannot change their biological sex has won an appeal at an employment tribunal. Maya Forstater's contract at the Centre for Global Development was not renewed in March 2019. At the time, a tribunal judge said her views were not worthy of respect. But in 2021, an appeal judge said her views were protected by the Equality Act and ordered a fresh tribunal, which